This is a guide to using the QData and QDate spreadsheet functions that are available in the Quandl Excel add-in. The QData function makes it easy to request a specific quote for a given dataset for a given date. For example, if I type in a Quandl code as follows, and then I type in a date as follows, I then invoke the QData function with the Quandl code and the date as its two arguments. The add-in returns the value of this dataset on this date. Notice that I can easily change the Quandl code and the add-in updates the number instantly. I can also change the date that I'm requesting and again the add-in updates the value almost instantly. By default, the QData function returns the first column of any multi-column datasets. If I need another column, I simply append the column number to the Quandl code, separated by a slash, like this, and I get the new number. The QData function makes it easy to build extremely powerful and flexible spreadsheets that update automatically when you change your inputs. QData is especially powerful when you combine it with Excel's built-in today function, which fetches the latest date. If I just type today here, I'm getting the latest value for this particular stock, and I can change it to any stock that I want, and I can easily build time series that key off of the today value. This works well for daily datasets. However, for monthly and quarterly datasets, getting today's value is not so meaningful. For this use case, we've created the QDate function. QDate returns the last observation date for any given dataset. For example, here's a dataset that is not daily. I invoke QDate for this dataset, and I find that the last observation was on the 1st of January. I then invoke QData for this dataset on the last observation date to get the value. The combination of QData, QDate, and Today and other spreadsheet functions makes it possible to create immensely flexible, powerful spreadsheets that update automatically when you open them. We will present a few examples elsewhere.